hello guys welcome to Ferdinand tutorials in this video i talked about my full nyc experience from my 21 days on camp to my cds group currently to my place of primary assignment how i influenced my posting to the place i am now how i became a cds president how i try as much as possible to manage the stress while on camp every other thing that you need to know about complete nyc experience i got it all covered in this video so watch the end to find out enjoy my friends now I want us to look at the documents that are needed for my NYC registration while on camp. Now remember that after your registration online, you will be posted to a particular state in Nigeria and then you have to travel to that state you know, to start your three weeks orientation program which is a compulsory thing for every core member here in Nigeria especially if you want to serve. Now when you get to the camp, there are a series of you know, registrations that you do very very important from the medical you know test to you know trying to register officially as a prospective core member you know where they will give you the kits like this and the cap and the you know khaki including the boots and all that remember you don't just get all that because you traveled from whatever state to the camp you get all that after successful registration now i want us to look at the documents that are needed one of the documents there is what we call your school id card now remember that for every individual that studied anywhere in the country, you must have a valid school ID card. Now that school ID card is needed. So when you are coming to camp, you can photocopy that your school ID card maybe into three, four, or five copies. Now the next thing that you also need for your registration is what we call the addendum. Don't worry, after your online registration, you will see what we call an addendum. Now you can print your addendum into four or five copies too. I wish to get it out. Now you can get your call-up letter. Remember that your call-up letter is actually that letter that showed the state that you were posted to. So you get your call-up letter and then you can photocopy it into four or five copies too. Now the next thing you can come up with is what we call your green card. Now a green card is more like it's, it's, it's more like your details. It contains all your necessary information and details. So you come with your green card, four or five copies too. You also come with what we call your statement of results. If you have your certificate, you can come with, but generally, Statement of the result is usually accepted because you have some, you know, individual that just recently graduated that don't have their certificate. So they usually come with statement of results and that is valid. Are we together now? Now, I must tell you something that is very, very important. Remember that your name, the sequence for your name must be very correct in all of these, you know, documents that I mentioned. Let's take, for instance, my name is Ugochuku Kingsley in America. You don't go and have Ugochuku Kingsley in America in your, you know, school ID card. And now, in your statement of result, you are only having Ugochuku Kingsley. And then, in your call up letter, you are having Ugochuku Kingsley. Are we together? Now, there must be a correct sequence arrangement of your name for the person registering you on camp to actually successfully register you. Now, look at what happened during my time. Now, when I went to register, I have my sequence, you know, very correct. The only problem I had was during my, my, during my registration online, I only added Ugochuku Kingsley. Because I didn't study twice to, you know, add in America. The man that was doing my registration online only asked your first and last name. So I indicated Ugochuku Kingsley, Ugochuku as my last name, Kingsley as my first name. And he didn't ask for middle name. And I didn't bother to check. I thought everything would be okay. Please don't repeat that mistake. Make sure that you are following everything sequentially. If he asks for your first name, give him last name, give him. Also give him your middle name. In fact, be with him. Don't just leave him to do it. And that was the mistake I made on camp. I had to... Because that man refused to register me. So what I did was, I had to sleep overnight. You know, tomorrow I had to, you know, change the stuff on my dashboard. They, they told me actually that it stays up to 24 hours for the names to change. You understand? For the name to be corrected on my dashboard. But fortunately for me, it did stop to, you know, 15 hours before it was changed. And I was thankful to God. And I, I had to register. I cried there. It was, it was so, so emotional. Because I'm coming from Owori to Ocean State. You know how much I spend on transportation. So the man, the man that was registered told me you have to go back to your school for them to correct it. This, 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 you know. Ah, I was like, God of heaven. <laughs> so please don't repeat that same mistake ever again. Yeah, let's talk about the groups that you need to belong to while on camp. We have the OBS. They are in charge of broadcasting, right, while on camp. They read the news every morning during our morning meditation, which starts from 5 they read the news and then they are also in charge of broadcasting during the day especially when we are on break they break not like everybody go to sleep break like maybe uh, after your lunch uh, during the time they announce for siesta 
you know, or during the evening when the people are going to take their dinner and all that. So they can be broadcasting, you know, calling people that loves one another. Maybe you can give them the number of someone you love. They can call the person and then, you know, send the person a message that you sent to them and all that. That's what they are in charge of. You also your stolen items. You can go there and then, you know, they can be able to announce it and then the holder can bring it so that you can take your stuff. A lot of things they do on camp. They are really trying. We also have the Red Cross, of course. I can't just call, you know, groups without mentioning Red Cross. My darling Red Cross. Red Cross! Red Cross! Red Cross! So, you know, while on camp, uh, I was a Red Cross member. I belonged to the you know, Red Cross. We did a whole lot of stuff. In fact, that was my highlight while on camp, you know, the Red Cross. We did a lot of training. We did a lot of, you know, exercise. People were fainting, especially during that parade. People were fainting left, right, and center. We were picking them up, you know, giving them a first aid, trying to, you know, help them get their oxygen back, you know, put them in recovery position, arrange them. You know, it was so fun. You know, the experience was magical. So Red Cross is also another, you know, important group an individual can belong to while on camp. Then after that 30, you actually uh, put your mouth in that fatality's mouth, then you do what? You blow air. You blow air twice inside that fatality's mouth. Then you continue your what? Your compression. That air will go directly into the lungs. And you know you are actually compressing. Red Cross! It's a sign of We also have Sevicom. Sevicom, they, they help the security of the camp. They try to, you know, uh, maintain orderliness. You know, while on camp, they can help control core members. Not like push you to do what you don't want to do. But most of the case, they can, you know, direct you on what to do and what not to do very important group as well there are we also have some other you know sub groups where we have the lecture community we have sanitation you know of course you should know the lecture group here they help to you know coordinate lectures and all that maybe first time i may mean, just say because my friend next time i'll go behind your back again that's how man beats are it's not weirdness it's being rational it's being rational human beings are rational it's not because it's effective don't make your cost of production expensive. Make it as cheap as possible. Go to the source. Get your raw materials from the cheapest you can get. And not compromising standards at the same time. Hello? Hi. Entrepreneur. We go into business. Why our job is no longer the solution to unemployment? I'll come to think of it. Look at successful businessmen. Can you compare them with civil servants? No. You cannot be as rich as you want if you are not never. in business. You cannot never. be as rich because the 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 the, the, the service will constrain you and constrain your finances and limit the kind of wealth you can have. For business, there is no limit. Why are you doing business? And that's why this money I'm here to talk to you about what you need to do to start your own business. That you have established a scenario that being your home boss is the reality of today. Please, have you getting me? Yes, ma. Being your home boss is the reality of the day. And cook, can we lift them up? Can we lift them up? Yes, ma. Okay. Okay, please can we pull out this? I have, I have, I have, I have, I have all it takes, all it takes to, start to start and maintain, and maintain a viable business. And I shall be at the top. God willing. And then the sanitation, they try as much as possible to you know help clean that. Even though I tried it one day, <laughs> my serious, you don't want to know. It was it was huge, you know. Went to clean the dirt and uh, you know pick. Especially I went to the female's place and they would pick the dirt, 
you know, help them clean up the whole place and all that. So it was good. So there are other committees and other groups. Please, if you've already served, help list other committees that I've not mentioned. I know there are many out there. Let me remind you also that after your registration, you will be grouped into a platoon. Now we can have your last digit of your you know state code. You can have one, two, up until zero. Now uh, that last digit simply implies your you know platoon uh, group. So if it ends with one, you're platoon one, and also if it ends with five, platoon five. So we have from platoon one to platoon ten. You understand? If it ends with zero, automatically you're in platoon ten. Yeah. So now we have what we call platoon-based competition. We're going to look at what we call the debate, the drama, your cultural dance, football, you know, tennis, volleyball, even parade, Miss and Mr. You know, NYSE. We have Miss NYSE and then Mr. Macho. Do you understand? Now, um, this competition is, as I said earlier, it's platoon based. And at the end of the day, any platoon that wins each of them, you know, will go home with a prize. I didn't participate much. I only participated in the debate. And uh, we didn't win, we came out fifth, unfortunately, but I got a certificate, I didn't do my best, to be honest, you understand? Uh, so, we came out fifth, we have other platoons, you know, came out first, second, third, and fourth, and all that, so, at the end of the day, this is our competition. Now, mentoring secondary school in class in our host community is important to leadership, because it requires specific leadership skills, like coordination, guidance, and mentorship. Now let's begin to look at the word NEET, N-E-E-T. Now N-E-E-T simply means not in education, employment, or training. Now this is one of the most difficult phases in the life of every young person. Now during this phase, this particular youth are actually depressed, they have anxiety, and most of the time they have other severe mental health problems. So what do we do in this case? This is where leadership comes in. Now in leadership, we need to look at the ability to provide guidance, the ability to inspire, the ability to influence, and the ability to coordinate individuals to carry out a particular task. Now, in leadership, we begin to say that if I can be able to lead an individual, I can be able to lead by example, I can be able to provide solutions to the person's problem. Now, as a leader in our host community, it is expected that we don't just go out there to tell them this is what to do, but we must be able to lead by example, say what we want them to do. Do what I even started uh, training for football. I wanted to join the football team, my platoon, because I was in platoon six. I trained, you know, the first day. The second day, I had an injury. You understand? I had a, a little dislocation that I wasn't working, you know, very fine. Uh, or <laughs> I had an injury, to be honest. So, and that cost me the match. I didn't play. Other people were playing, so but I didn't play. Maybe God had the reason. You understand? He had his reason. So. But I wasn't happy actually, you understand? Because uh, <laughs> I waited for that moment, I wanted to play and all that, but it was enjoyable. So we have all this cultural dance, as you can see, individual representing their different platoons.
them. We also had the drama, you know, different platoons acting. Are we together? Now we have the tennis volleyball, as I said. Now I want us to look at uh, this NYC orientation service orientation program. I want you to understand that this particular program is very, very regimented. It's very regimented in the sense that you are expected to participate in all the activities, almost all the activities. Do you understand? Almost all the activities. In fact, you can't even go and lie there and say, I'm not feeling fine. They will drag you to the clinic immediately. Now, let me tell you one story. So I told you that I had an injury, you know, my leg, I couldn't walk well. So I was getting a massage from the clinic. So one night after our program, we usually end around 10, you understand, so that we can go and sleep and then, you know, so just to start walking around for light out. If they see you, you know, misbehaving, you go out outside and maybe do frog job and all that. So I went to college job from the clinic, maybe we landed off our, you know, uh, social night, that particular night. I went to collect my jobs and, uh, you know, while coming back, I've received the massage. Now, while coming back with, my, with the drug I collected, now I saw soldiers. They saw me too, and then they asked me to, you know, start doing frog job. I was trying to explain that my leg is paining me, that I can't even walk fine talking about doing frog job. They even wanted to kick me. He was like, come on. What I'm trying to say is that these people are very, very mean. You understand? They can be friendly, of course, but, you know, when it comes to your role there, they expect you to do it effectively. At that particular point, they expect me to be, you know, sleeping, not outside. They don't want to know the reason. Their own is obey before complain. Do you understand? So that night I was so annoyed, but I don't have any option. I can't fight a soldier now. By now, I wouldn't even be making this video. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, that's what it is. Now I want you also to understand when you get to camp, you know, learn to build friendship, build connection. Of course, you don't know who is who. The best you can do is just be nice to your fellow human. You know, don't be an antagonist. Don't be the, you know, the bad egg. Be a good person. When you come across, you know, people, greet them, interact with them as much as possible. You know, show them what you can offer. You know, I, I made a good connection, of course. Uh, if they are watching this video, they know. They know themselves. I made a good connection while I'm calm. And it was good. It was great. I... I love them they love me so yeah that's what it is so try your best you know to build friendship belong to you know respective groups as i mentioned before the ones that you can be very very active let people know who you are let them know what you can do don't just be an idle man of course it's not going to be easy imagine let me tell you imagine we usually take our lunch from two to four and then they say go and take your lunch uh, maybe two to three from three to four you have your siesta rest so i will take my lunch i will be lining up you know and then maybe when we if i could get my food it can be around maybe 250. now i already have red cross meeting every day from three to four because from four we start our parade training and all that so and it's compulsory so by that three i'm expected to be sleeping but guy man <laughs> guy man needs to be in red cross do you understand so i will have to you know, suspend whatever is called siesta to be on that meeting. You understand? To be on that meeting. And it was, I didn't regret any of it. Of course, I didn't. Do you understand? So, that is what it is. Anyway, you are, make sure you are, you know, you are producing impact. Create your impact. Let people know who you are. Let them know what you can afford. Don't be a noise maker, but be someone, you know, that brings out solution when it's needed. Now, after your orientation course, remember we have four cardinal program. In, uh, in the NYSC, for cardinal programs in the NYSC, where we have the orientation, which is the one I'm talking about. We have primary assignment, you know, where you'll be posted, and then we have CDS and passing out. Now, I'll talk about the primary assignment. Let me tell you that, you know, while on camp, you can influence your, you know, posting. Because after the three weeks, you guys will receive a, you know, a letter, a hard copy. You understand? Say, okay, this is where you're posted. This is the place you can go and all that. So you can influence your posting by either submitting a request letter. You understand? The request letter can be maybe there's an organization that you love, and then you can speak to the organization. This is where you go to LinkedIn. You know, search for organizations that is closer to the state, organization in that particular state. 
now you tell the organization okay this is who i am send the code email more like you know what you can offer and all that you know if they can give you an employment if they accept then you can get a request letter from them submit it to you know the nyc officials on camp and then that can help you you know go to that particular organization of course very important that's number one you can also become an ESCO in a platoon that's ways to influence your posting submit a request letter that's the first one becoming an ESCO in your platoon now remember that when you when you've been um assigned to a particular platoon you can decide to choose um schools we have your president or platoon leader we have assistant platoon leader vice president you have dos director of socials director of sports we have treasurer <laughs> those are some of the posts that you know that will be open for individuals so if you become one of them especially if you're a platoon leader your posting can be influenced automatically you understand anywhere you want to go within the state you don't have to worry you understand you are blessed <laughs> you understand <laughs> so i think that's it now also another thing you can do is um, you can become a, an active member in the obs in fact all these groups that i mentioned savicom red cross obs you can become an active member in them and become a leader or very active member you can also influence your posting do you understand now let me give you an instance i i was a very active member while on camp on red cross and uh, at some point i'm posted to a particular local government here in Oshu state and i was posted here because of red cross red cross there has never been red cross in this particular place you understand that i am so i was posted here because of red cross and we started our cds program you know about red cross you understand currently we talk about red cross because of the experience i already had while on camp so i'm teaching core members about red cross we are planning on going for you know our visitation and all that do you understand i'm currently a cds president don't tell someone else yeah so that's what it is do you understand so i wanted to be an active member while on camp there are a whole lot of you know pros a whole lot of advantages to that also for you to influence your posting also you can become a big blower the person that blows all this sound committee lecture committees vip personnel so when you become an active member in all, all of these organizations you have a way of influencing your posting i hope that makes sense now while on camp too let me draw you back to camp while on camp there's all course side lectures right skill acquisition entrepreneurship development there is all course side lectures very very important and uh, <laughs> of course it's boring i'm not going to lie it's boring i slept many a time you know while on that particular lecture but it's very important what they teach there i'm not going to tell you it's trash it's not to be honest i learned a lot if i show you my notes you will get talk about entrepreneurship talk about you know ways to level up talk about you know ways to you know make this your one year you know be something that you will forever remember do you understand so side lectures uh what we talked about we had uh, important people come around doing that those lectures we had you know, the wife of the governor. Now, to deliver the most professional letter, we have an excellency, the wife of the I'm telling you the truth. She has it. She will just tell you what to do. And before you know it, what's it done? You should come at that. What's it done? So, it's the oneness of the song that I want you to keep use your relationship to the future together my friend i love you all. we have many we, even the king you understand king of a particular local government in the state 
came around to the understand. So it was it was enjoyable. We had a lot of important visitors. Years, years. Years. You don't take for straight. The Lord of Lords, yeah, I am, but I am. You only put it for inviting me to be here today. And I want to appreciate the rousing welcome you gave me and my chiefs as well as my entourage while we were coming here. The Lord we honor all of you. Amen. I can assure you where the Almighty is taking all of you. Don't be bothered about our current challenges. I want to assure you that you are destined for greatness in Nigeria. Amen. Where the Almighty is taking you, I shall not see. Years have never had it. Yes, Your mind has never even contemplated it. Amen. No mouth will be able to tell it all. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank all my chiefs who are here today. And I want to spend
special little the Anglican Church, the vicar in charge of our Anglican Church in Adam. When our very good block they understand they even the wife of the governor came, she was you know, advising us, telling us, hey, be good students, be good people, be good you to the community, you know, represent your school well, represent this particular state wherever you are, and all that. In fact, on a particular lecture, uh, one of our, you know, lecturers that taught, taught us that, you know, the NYSC head, Brigadier Ahmed, yeah, he actually served in Ocean State. You know, they remember you when you're successful. That's why you must be successful in this life. Try not to be the last person. Be successful so that you'll be remembered. So, uh, I think they mentioned it more than twice. A uh, lady will tell us, you see, this is our campy phenomena. The, the NYSC head served here. So, you're going to be a great person. Try not to be a loser. I know that. So, it was important. And it was a motivation. You understand? Yeah, so, these are some of the things we experienced while on camp. It was it was an enjoyable experience. I loved it. In fact, we even had to go for man award release. Um, uh, it was huge. There were a lot of us. I see where I'm going you now. This is where I'm entering. <laughs> I've not been to this place uh, before. This is where we're going to do our second drilling. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I don't know if you do today. Yeah, let's take your time. Huh? Yeah. I am coming. Are you doing YouTube channel? Yes, yes, I'm doing for my YouTube channel. Wow, wow, wow. Jesus. This is where we're entering, people. Wow, wow. We have Morasa, we have Morasa, we are ready. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am a Inyo, Inyo, I am a Inyo. Red Cross, Red, 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 Red. Are you the way? Don't say that again. For energy, but for energy. Yeah. Yes, yes, for energy. We are here. I have to go to, you know, NCCF. NCCF too is a very important place. While I'm coming, I will advise you, you know, try as much as possible to join, you know, the fellowship. This is Sunday, of course. They allow you to wear more tea from morning to around 2 p.m. So you can go. We have, we have the NCCF, we have the Catholic Campus Fellowship, and then we have the mosque. So it's either you're a Catholic or you are in SCCF. So if your church is not a Catholic church, that means you belong to SCCF. So every Sunday I attended SCCF, but I wasn't so active. If you're active in SCCF too, you can influence your posting to a level. You understand? Uh -huh. now, I also want to talk about parade, parade training, parade training and the main parade presentation. I tell you that every morning we do, we do our parade training. The parade presentation, my platoon represented well. They did their best. They, they did their best and we came out not the last we came out on top two maybe not number one number two or number three or number four but we came out on top of course i love my platoon platoon six oh yay <laughs> if you're platoon six if you've ever been in platoon six all your life rep your platoon in the comment section in fact if you've served in any particular state uh, you are an ex core member okay if you're an ex core member please let me know you know the platoon which you will be at the your time and if you are a uh, prospective core member let me know too you know the platoon that you like to join you like to join in platoon six yay and uh, there, are, there are a whole lot of competition a whole lot of, of programs there are many cultural carnival you know it was many and uh, it was enjoyable too 
I'm so grateful and happy for the opportunity. Honestly, I am, and I thank God for you know giving me this opportunity to be here. I was posted to a secondary school, yes, and after the camp, I took my PA letter. I was posted to a secondary school. That's where I'm teaching physics currently. I go for my CDS every Wednesday, community development service. Just as I told you about Red Cross, you understand. Yeah, so you know, it, it, the experience has been good. It has not been bad. It has been good, and I thank God for all that. I thank God for also the friends that I have encountered, you know, on the way. A lot of them. A lot of them. When I met at NCCF, when I met in camp, you know, it's been it's been an enjoyable ride. It's been a fun ride, and of course, I have my expectations, and then you know, we are working towards them. At the end of the day, we just want to smile. Um, so I just want you to understand that this is a good experience, it's not a waste of time and try not to waste it. It's a good experience, you will love it as you continue. As much as the camp is tedious, the activities is you know huge. I I I dodged many a times from the activities. But at the end of the day, the army, the soldiers will still catch me and all that. So as much as the work is tedious and all that, try not to you know give up on yourself, try not to think you can do it and don't postpone. You understand? Take it up with, you know, joy. Is that experience? Of course, everybody is telling you, anyway, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. Why? How do they know it's a waste of time? Have they been there? If they've been there, why did they go in the first place? So don't listen to people until you do it yourself. You understand? Do it yourself. Especially those bad experiences. Don't subscribe to it. I'm being honest. Don't subscribe to it. People will tell you that the camp food is worse than all that. In my own camp, of course, the camp food wasn't the best. I didn't eat all their food before. It saved me many times. You understand? It food saved me many times. It saved my money and all that. So just look at what you can do. I might like it, you might not like it. You might like it, I might not like it. These are individual preferences. So when someone is telling you not to jump, is it because they are short that they can't jump? Or is it because they're not feeling fine that they can't jump? If you are healthy, so you can jump. So, you know, take the risk is worth it. This is the time to do it. And uh, I'm wishing you the best. I don't know that you'll be the best wherever you are. And uh, you will win at the end of the day. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit this video and subscribe if you find it interesting. Of course, I know you do. And then, you know, share it to your friends too. That will be going for service one time or the other. See you in my next video. Bye for now. Block. Everyone who stand still, stand attention, you don't move. This should just catch you here and hustle. I see this student standing there. See? They are standing. They don't move. They don't go anywhere to move. You'll be handled so you can move now. Come move. I am move. Yeah, my camera. I'm getting you. Move. Good boy. He's moving. I'm in a What we've been learning all through the days. And as yeah. you can see, we are dressing. Thank you. <laughs> on a dressing board. If you're here right inside the house, say hi. Hi. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down.
It's about to go down. It's about to go down, bro. Yes, yes. We are all happy. We are happy. What happened, bro? Wow. 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 Wow.